All right, this time we're back out on the road for about a month. We've been utilizing all three buses to make this tour happen. Montana, got a brand new engine. That is at least the second brand new engine that I know this bus has had. But that's just how you do it. Put a new engine in, keep going. Wildflower's also back. The 18-wheeler is not back which is what everyone is doing tonight, is loading all our video wall and drums and merch back into our two bus drivers. I literally did not even know my drums were here. I thought my drones were on some trailer somewhere in Kansas. Being very gentle, Johnny. Look, look how gentle I am with your bases. They're very nice. This is the magical doorway that melds our world with the world of the world. We all woke up today to a violent grinding sound underneath my bunk. It turned out to be something wrong with the brakes. So uh, Bull and Butch are working right now to take the brakes off so that we can keep on going. Definitely this one, you got metal shavings inside of it. The one on this side is like a quarter inch smaller around the top. I don't see it down here, the adjustment. Okay, I think, I think I can get it from the top, maybe. At least it's a pretty day, and it ain't 110 degrees, and it ain't raining, and it ain't the middle of the night. Right. Yeah. And we're not in... Uh, I don't know. We, we're, we're in we're in New Mexico, so I mean. Ah, broke. Zip ties, duct tape, and vice grips. this other dude.
snare drums just sitting there. Oh, there's another snare drum just sitting on there. Brush towards yourself. All over the place. There you go. That's what we're there for. That's nature's what, uh, that we get it now. Ash removal system. Yeah. You going to cook grill, huh? Oh, take a pine cone. These look amazing. I'm freaking starving. So our show in Menden, Nevada was canceled because of fires. The air is usually pretty clear in Texas. To think that the fires and smoke and air quality is so bad in Menden, Nevada that they had to cancel the show. Man, I feel for everyone in that area.
blew a tire. <laughs> I think it's 4 a.m. now. I was in a dead sleep and it sounded like we were running off the road. But I knew we weren't running off the road. And then I could smell the rubber burning, so I knew we blew a tire. <laughs> That's insane. Yep, that's right underneath my head. We're not parked till the bus shuts down. We're not parked till the bus shuts down. We're officially parked. Huh? We're in Bristol, Tennessee today. Going to see the UE NASCAR. Johnny's coming with me. Todd's here. Todd's here. Hey man. You think uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken's still open? <laughs> what city are we in today, Johnny? Washington, PA. Washington, Pennsylvania. That's not confusing at all. But it is beautiful. I can look around and tell it we're in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Do not use that porta potty, Johnny. It is overflowing in all areas. Oops. I didn't have anything to do with it, I just witnessed it. This is the 130th, 40th person. The longest we've ever had. This is just Granger's meeting. Broke some kind of record. I'm doing the same thing for our fall shows in October, November for the rest of the year. Broken souvenir symbols autographed by the whole band for pre order, for pickup at a show. This one here is going to somebody today. It's got everybody's signature on it except Johnny. My name goes bigger. It's 3.30 in the morning and your house is stuck in traffic. That's my current situation. Tonight is an elevator load in. Behind me is a gigantic freight elevator that goes up to the second floor where the stage is. Down here, this is the street level where the buses are parked. All the gear has to be elevated up to the second floor. It makes for an extremely long load in and load out. <laughs> oh. 
Sandwiches are up there. Oh, good. Oh, good. Get the taste of this margarita out of my mouth. That's right. All right, our show in Schenectady, New York. That's hard to say. But our show in Schenectady, New York is done really early, which means we're going to cross into Canada tonight. We are here in Quebec. Canada. And we're actually going to explore the woods here that will take us along this path. We're going to follow this path that's going to take us to this waterfall. Oh yeah? Is that what we're doing? Unsafe structure I've ever, uh, yeah. the most unsafe feeling I've, I feel ever like I've ever felt. I've seen on. enough movies to know that it's about to fall through. Food and wine in every language. We just bought all the remaining uh, croissants. We just bought them out of croissants. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. So the plan is, <laughs> uh, so we're, we're gonna take the rest of uh, Apple Bag. We're gonna go pick them up before the coast, and then we come back here. We're gonna uh, try some wines and then choose what, what you guys want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Before five thirty. Okay. Et plus et plus surette. Okay. Mais je pense que les là. So we're gonna go with the honey crisp. Uh, it's a big apple. It's uh, crispy and it's sweet. It's very big. Like a huge. So they're young, but they're not mature, but they're not mature. 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 But let us loose in this apple field. Good. These apples are huge. Yeah, little bit of trees. Yeah. It's weighing them down, yeah. The best date we've ever been on. <laughs> that one right there, that's a good, that's a pretty good specimen right there. That's nice. <laughs> wow. This apple had no idea it was about to get eaten today. <laughs> Life took its and that's the best part about it. Can be any fresher. Oh. Lots of people who love to have a little uh, white uh, um, uh, for uh, for uh, 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 l'apéritif, comme on dit ça pour vrai en anglais. Uh, like an appetizer. Appetizer cocktail. is more the yeah. cocktail. That's what yeah. it is. There we go. <laughs> Tranquil cider. This one has 2.8 percent, so this is for your grandma's birthday party <laughs> and uh, the family uh, family breakfast at the beach. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Not my grandma. <laughs> so the brute is the throne of our house, the throne on which our reputation is seated, and this is our classical uh, fleuron. It's uh, uh, the classic, uh, the, our classical of the house. So this one here will be uh, sparkling like a nice uh, champagne. 
Jean Soulard, a reputed uh, yeah. gastronomer here in the uh, province of Quebec, has once mentioned and once said that this is the Champagne of Quebec. Oh, well, mm -hmm. yep. Wow. Si Jean l'a dit. Si Jean l'a dit, c'est pas Jean. Écoute, on va se dire. Yeah, sweeter. Um, you like this one? I like this one a little bit too. This one does taste more like one. That's good. And in Brooklyn, yeah, yeah. you know, that was good. Does it taste like apple juice? Yeah. yeah. All of this is made from apple. Yeah. All of this is made from apple. Wow. <laughs> and no added sugar. <laughs> an amazing show tonight in Canada. Canadian fans are so loud and they know every word. It's awesome. Alright, Todd. As of now, we are officially on the way home. As soon as we pack the trailer, the buses will head to Albany, where we will pick up our American merch and drop everyone off at the Albany airport. And then anyone who didn't want to fly home will begin the 2,000 mile non-stop drive home. Because we have four drivers on this trip, the buses can go straight and the drivers can just change out and one can go sleep in the back. It's the fastest way to get home without flying. So I asked some questions on my Instagram a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna answer them right here. One of them was, how long have you been drumming? I've been drumming my entire life. My first drum set that I got from my parents was the Christmas before my second birthday. So I was about 20 months old when I got my first drum set and I could already play a little bit by then. Another question was, how long did you tour with Evans Blue? I toured with Evans Blue for nine weeks in 2012. And then a couple of years later, I think it was 2015, I had the opportunity to play with Evans Blue again at a festival in San Antonio that Granger also played. Um, I got to play with my old band and my current band on the same festival, which was really cool. That never happens. What sticks do I use? For years, I use the Vic Firth 3A, and I go through phases where the Vic Firth 3A is my stick, and then I go through phases where I want something lighter weight because the 3A is really heavy. Go back and forth between the 3A, the Extreme 5B, the Extreme 55B. Matt Greener's signature stick is really awesome. I don't endorse any companies anymore, but there's nobody better than Vic Firth when it comes to sticks. Sorry. How did you start playing for Granger? So I met Johnny at an apartment party one night, which led to me hanging out at the pool with Johnny and all the other guys in Granger's band. And then the sound guy for my band started working for Granger. And then Granger needed a drummer, and I recommended them Caleb because I was friends with Caleb. And then um, after Caleb, they, Granger called and said, hey, I need another drummer. Who do you know? And I said, well, I got three days left with Evans Blue. Send me, send me your songs and I'll learn them. And uh, that's what we did. What's your favorite thing about playing for Granger? When I was in high school was when I really kind of figured out that I wanted to be a professional drummer. I had no idea how to do that. But I was pretty certain it was going to require me to move away from home which I really didn't want to do immediately after high school. I didn't want to move. I'd never lived outside of my small town. It was thought of moving was scary, especially the thought of moving to like Nashville or New York or LA or some big music town. So instead of moving far away, I moved an hour down the road to Austin and I knew that my journey might be a, a long one and a complicated one, but I knew that it was supposed to be, I wanted a longer and more complicated journey. Granger hired a bunch of my friends and then hired me and then continued hiring my friends after that. So that's how I ended up in a band full of my buddies. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be posting lots more videos. Any comments or questions you have, leave them below. Thanks for watching.